Hey guys, what's going on? Moose here with another Moose Survival and Tactical Battle Box unboxing. Uh, this is going to be mission 32 from Battle Box. Uh, it's a self defense mission. Um, some good stuff in here, some okay stuff in here. So we're going to get into it. To start off with our mission card, as always, right? Uh, bag of it. Um, self defense is a good thing. Um, it's just there's some stuff that is practical, some stuff that's not. So let's see what we got. Um, starting off in this month's box uh, with a nine dollars and ninety nine cents cost is the ABKT punch dagger. ABKT is American Buffalo Knife and Tactical punch dagger. Um, this is one of those things. It's neat. I kind of been looking for something like this for a while, so. But then I realized already I've had something like this. So show you what this one is and show you what I'm talking about with something I've had. So this little punch dagger here. Got a nice little grip to it. It's meant to pull out. And you've got a dagger. Punch with, right? Now that yeah, fits pretty well. Um comes with a little you know, chain lanyard, so it's meant to be worn as neck knife. Um, only problem I have with something like this is to, for it to lay flat, you've got a little bit of an indentation. Um, that's pretty common though. Um, good retention. Okay, sharpness on the side. The, the point is more what you're looking for on this. Um, like I said, I've been thinking about getting something like this for a while. Um, but as I was looking through these, I realized I already had something like that. So this is great, right? Small, compact. Um, if you've been with BattleBox, if you if you do the Pro Plus, we've had something like this since Mission 29, 20, yeah, the Patriot theme box with the Scallywag dagger. Same thing. You can easily do that same beaded thing right here, wear it around your neck, because this thing is designed as a punch dagger as well right exact same thing a lot more blade um, reading up on some of the comments from scallywag people complain a lot because this isn't sharp well it's not supposed to be this is this is meant as a get off me knife purely a punch dagger and it's meant to go in your hands like that right there so while I'm, I'm appreciative of this, uh, and if I didn't have one, I would definitely enjoy this. Realizing that I've had something that's probably a bit better quality for a while, I'm going to go with that. Um, so again, that was $9.99. Not mad that I got that at all. Don't get me wrong on that. Throw some of this away. Uh, next on the list is uh, Sabre Personal Defense Spray. Um, Sabre... Saber Red is a uh, pepper spray. Um, this is something that a lot of police departments use. Uh, I know I've had this stuff sprayed in my face before. It's not fun. Um, but this is just a little uh, a little canister of it. It's even got a little pocket clip on it. Uh, it says you can get up to 35 bursts out of this. Um, this is something that um, you know, is not a bad thing to have. I'm actually going to be giving this to my fiance um, for her to keep in her purse, uh, just because I think it's something that you know it's it's a great you know get off me. If nothing else, it makes people close their eyes, turn their head long long enough for you to run. Uh, it stings like an sob, uh, and it has a UV dye in it um, that reacts up to 48 hours. I've actually tested that out when I got sprayed. Uh, and it does show up good under black light. So uh, $10.99, $11 for that. Uh, it's about right. That's what I've seen it for in stores. Um, and that is good stuff. Definitely recommend it. Bad thing about that, though, is there are some people who are not affected by pepper spray. Uh, one of the guys I work with, he, it'll make him shut his eyes, but then he'll sit there and do this number right here, and he can see all day. Um, and then I've also seen some people get hit with it, and it doesn't affect them at all. So, pluses and minuses, one of those things, I'd rather her have it than not. Uh, I'm confident 
so I'm not going to take it. Uh, the next thing, uh, again from Sabre, is going to be a personal keyring alarm. Take that out here. Personal keyring alarm. So, personal keyring alarm. Right here. All it is, I've seen these before. These are really loud. Um, this is great for drawing attention to yourself. Um, some people have suggested, you know, using it as a perimeter alarm at a camp or something like that. Um, teach a woman self-defense class and some we teach them like you can use it. And the biggest thing is you want to create a witness rich environment uh, that deters people from doing bad things to you, right? Uh, so all this is, it's attached right in here. It's going to be loud, so. Just a really loud alarm. Um, about two football fields away is the distance that it says it can hear. Obviously, that's going to be under optimal conditions. Um, but definitely a good thing uh, to keep on you if you know you're trying to draw attention to yourself. You're trying to get help. Pop that. People are going to turn their heads. Um, so another another good thing to have. From there. We go into the, sorry, that was a $9.99 value, $10. Um, again, something good to have. Uh, from there, we go into a ViperTech VTS 989 stun gun, $23.98. ViperTech. Comes with a little sheath to hold it. All your instructions. And that's the Viper Tech stun gun. Also with it, it comes with a plug and a and the plugs in. Now this thing works as a flashlight. Go all the way to three. And it's a stun gun as well. Um, so for your all's viewing pleasure, I've actually brought in help for this one. Uh, my brother is going to take a stun on this uh, and give us some feedback on how it feels. So uh, hang tight just one second. All right, so like I said, I got special guest help on this. My brother's here. Zane, you nervous? Uh, yeah, kind of. You nervous? No, yeah. All right, <laughs> so we're just going to... Good thing about stun gun is it's a great get-off-me tool. So I'm just going to hit Zane, like, right down here in the hip. Uh, his wife and my fiance are worried about him getting hurt, so we've got a yoga mat and some straw here for him to land on if he falls. But, all right, if you'll just go ahead and turn for me. Oh, Again. I can't believe I agreed to this. Level two, level three is stun, right? All I'm doing is that. So, real big. <laughs> How'd that feel, man? <laughs> Definitely didn't feel good. I told you you wasn't gonna fall. It's like uh, it's like putting your tongue to a nine volt battery times a hundred. Yeah. So. Would you would you take it again? No. <laughs> Is it still hurting? A little bit. <laughs> it's, it's more stinging, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's a Vibratech stun gun. As you can see, it's a good get off me. I held it down, put it up, put them up to him. You can also just stick it straight up there and then pull the trigger on it. Um, and he immediately jumped out of the way. As soon as he jumped out of the way, it's still stinging a little bit on him, but that's more like where the muscles fired than it is the actual pain of it stinging. Um, it's a good get off me tool. The only downside to this as a personal fence is you actually have to make contact, right? You have to make it and hold it. He jumped away. As soon as he jumped away, if he's really determined, he's able to come back to me. Uh, so that's the only downside to this one. Uh, but still good, better than having nothing. Um, again, this is going to be something that is going to be going to my fiance uh, for her to keep in her purse, most likely, if she feels like it. Um, mainly because I like the fact that it has a flashlight, so she could easily be walking to her car with a flashlight and just from that to that and be good to go. So that was the Vipertech stun gun. Um, not bad, again, something definitely rather have than not. I don't know where I just put it. I'm on my workbench, everything's everywhere. Um, that was a $24 cost. Now, if you're in one of the states that doesn't allow stun guns, you got a Marine hand-to-hand -hand combat book. 
okay, it's cool, but th that's one of the things. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat is something you've got to practice, not just read about doing. So eh, it's good to have, better, better to have it than not, but hand-to-hand um, -hand combat book, unless you're going to actually get out and practice with somebody, not going to do you a lot of good, right? Um, but still, not bad. Uh, and that was a twelve ninety five value. Uh, and then also, if uh, if you didn't get the stun gun, you got a tactical notebook. Uh, and saw it. It's basically a Cordero wrapped uh, notebook cover. Has pockets for it, all that stuff. Um, not a bad looking thing, actually. Be good for like keeping a range bag, something like that. So that is a basic box. That is your twenty five dollar box. You got all of that, and that came out to a fifty four ninety five value. So fifty four dollars and ninety five cents for your twenty four dollar twenty five dollars that you paid. From there, we go to the advanced box. Advanced box is a $49.99, $50 cost, right? Uh, and we start with something I'm really excited about, actually. This is another thing I've been looking at getting for a while. The Readyman Wraith Fixed Blade Belt Knife. $59.95 value, so $60. Oh, wrong thing. Yeah. Showed you something else, we'll see ya. Um, Readyman. This is a Daniel Dabbs design, so this is the, the CEO of BattleBox designed this. Uh, I'm excited about this because this is something I've been looking at getting. This is a belt knife. Yeah, it's got tabs here. You can run a belt through it. It's flexible, so it'll lay flat. It's got a good rubberized grip on it for tackiness. And then Tonto style with some serrations on it. If I can get that to focus a little bit on the knife, not me. Um, <clears throat> got good jimping on the back of it there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to Yeah. So some good jimping. So for good, you know, grip right there. Um, they also make this uh, to where you could take pieces off and it could be a traditional hanger uh, if you wanted to, to where it'd be hanging on your side. Um, <clears throat> I've heard some, some people say they don't know about the cost, the $60 cost of this. I can say um, I've been looking at something like this. Um, Gerber makes one they call like the Ghost Strike, I believe is what they call it. Uh, when it debuted, it was about $40 or $60. I think now it's like $45. So the cost is there. Um, I, I am a fan of this. This is something I've been looking forward to getting since I found out it was coming, but also something I've been looking at getting myself for a while. Um, again, so this thing just goes small the back right here, bring it far enough away, and it's designed for that right there. Um, it's a really good textured rubberized grip on that. So that's nice. Uh, it's got a good feel in the hand. Uh, again, that's a $60 value for that. Uh, some people said they don't think so. I, I think so on that. Uh, and I'm a fan. And that's from Ready Man. Ready Man, cards, also, cards might be a little overvalued, but the rest of their gear, Rats Tourniquet, um, some of the other stuff they do is is valuable. So I, I'm going to put the value there. Next is uh, for $29.99, $30. Everything's always like $99 or $95, isn't it? Uh, why, don't they just, why don't they ever do a 50 um, for $29.99, $30, you get the Battletech Kubaton. Battletech is a battle box. You know, uh, it's Daniel Dabbs, the CEO of Battlebox, also came up with Battletech, a design that he wanted for, uh, you know, his own brand of tactical and uh, personal defense items. So there is the logo. For battle tech, let me see if I can block some of that light. No, okay, that's about as good as you can get. Uh, and it's a Kubaton. Uh, anodized aluminum. Got the. Let me see if this helps any. Not really. Battle tech logo on it. It doesn't want to load up for me. Turn that light back on. Um, got a good feel to it. Um, Got, it's not designed to pierce. It's got a blunted tip, but it's got blood grooves on it if it does pierce. Um, 
good feel to it. It's got a pocket clip on it, so it's made where you can stick it in the pocket. Um, and it's not a deep carry, so it's something you could easily hook your pinky into and pull out. Um, Coupetons aren't bad. I've never had any training in Coupetons, so it's not something that I'm, you know, 100% going to use. Um, I will tell you, like, the, uh, the Battle Box Larkin uh, tactical pin that we got um, is going to serve the exact same purpose if you did not get that one. Um, if you got it, your Larkin pen carries the exact same purpose as a Coupeton. Only difference is you don't have this nice little, you know, ring or finger groove on it. Um, but these are designed for, you know, like muscle disablers or like pain compliance if you're hitting right in here. Um, $30 value, honestly, just for the aircraft grade aluminum that this is made out of for $30, I would say that's going to be about right on the value. Not something I'm going to carry, probably ain't going to end up on the trade forms for me, but still not a bad item. Um, not TSA compliant. Um, if you're looking for something TSA compliant, Maglite would work good too. All right, one of the many mags that you have in a keychain, and it's TSA compliant because it's a flashlight. All right, going from there, that was the advanced box, the $49.99 or $50 box. $144.89 is the value on that. So you nearly tripled your value on this box already. The next box we have is the uh, neighbor's baby's crown. Uh, next box we have is the Pro Box, the $100 box. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the value out of the way so I don't forget it this time. Uh, the Pro Box, it's $100 cost. $244.88 value. So the Pro Box has adds about $100 onto everything else that you've already gotten here. First thing in the Pro Box is the Mantis BK2A bottleneck knife. Mantis knives. It's got a bottle opener. Um, this is a butterfly style. It's got a pocket clip on it that you can take off if you want. Butterfly style knife. Flip the thing and it opens up and then you can't resecure it so that's just hanging there. I don't know why they would have made it to where you couldn't resecure it. It's tiny. It's not practical. It's, it doesn't open fast so for self defense I don't know why uh, you would carry this. I'm, I'm not happy with this. Um, this is one one of the few times but I've been I feel like I've actually been let down by Battle Box just simply because it's not it's cool but it's not practical really for the mission. It's good if you wanted to keep a knife on you some something small. Um, got a bottle opener on it, so you know it looks similar to a bartender's tool, so it'd probably work good for ball opener. But it's got a retention lock on it that's just a pressure retention, um, and that flips open. But like I said, it's not like one side. This side sticks, and might, that just might be because I need to work it, or but. It's not fast. I can't lock it back together right there. Um, it's it's tiny. So I don't... I mean, if you stab somebody with it, is it going to hurt? Yeah, it's a knife. Um, sharp object going piercing. It's going to hurt. But again, it's for me, it's a bit of a letdown. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to carry on me. Uh, that is a $40 value. I don't see forty dollars in that. Um, maybe I don't know what what it's made out of. Maybe forty dollars just because of the, the metal they use on it. Otherwise, I'm I'm not crazy about it. So trade form or just get rid of. It. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm not gonna use it. Um, now nah, I don't recommend using it if you're looking at self defense, right? $40 value. Again, I don't see it there, but it is what it is. Next, in the Pro Box, 
the Bastion Gear Self Defense Belt Tool. A $60 value, $59.99. Bastion puts out some good stuff. So, let's see what this is. And there it is. Self defense tool. So, this is, I believe I, I read that it's aluminum. Um, no, it, it feels too heavy to be aluminum, though. Um, it's metal, been laser welded uh, up here at the top. So it's got this hole in it. It doesn't really flex much at all, so it's solid. Uh, it's designed to be worn on your hip, so it's designed to like wear on a belt. Um, and then it's got a glass breaker, um, or you know, basically that'd be like a solid piece if you're gonna hit somebody. Uh, and it's got a bottle opener. <laughs> I've heard some arguments saying if you got room, why not put it there? I hate, 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 hate putting a bottle opener on every freaking thing. Um, I just, I, it, it gets redundant. I've got 100 bottle openers, um, and you're going to keep getting more. Um, I don't hate this. It's So it's basically, it's kind of, you seem they've kind of been popular lately. It's a knuck, right? Not a brass knuckle. Um, I haven't found the true definition for brass knuckles, um, but it's designed to fit in your hand and inflict damage. Um, I can tell you, I punched my desk here, uh, punching something solid still hurt me. Um, punching something soft, like if you're punching like somebody's chest or something, probably not gonna hurt you as bad. Um, check your local laws in Tennessee brass knuckles are illegal so again I haven't been able to find a true definition of brass knuckles to to really make the argument one way or another but be careful if you're gonna carry this thing it's cool um, I still might look at maybe getting it coated so it's not you know shiny metal um, but just be careful with this um, and especially with, with the glass breaker added on the end, I mean, let's be real, you're probably not going to be punching out a glass window like this and, you know, rub, running your whole hand through glass, so they call it a glass breaker. Be careful with that, right? So I'm going to put that back in the box and it's going away. So that's the... Pro box. Next is the Pro Plus, aka the Knife of the Month Club. Um, $150 cost, and the value on this month is $300. Ah, I'm sorry, $364 and 87 cents. So again, for $150, you got $384 worth of gear. Oh, I'm sorry, $365 worth of gear. So you've more than doubled, about double and a half your value on that. Uh, and this is another item from Battletech, the Double Lock Karambit. So Battletech again is is Daniel Dabbs' company. Um, this isn't a bad knife, so it's a karambit that folds, and it's designed. Some people hold it that way. I've seen people hold it that way. Um, I don't. I'm not a huge Karambit fan. Um, that's just me. Um, mainly because they have no usefulness. I mean, it's a heck of a box cutter, right? They have no real usefulness other than being a self-defense tool. I mean, given the stun gun doesn't either. But this is if I have a knife, I want it to have dual purpose. And the other problem I have with it is if I'm using a self-defense tool, I don't want something something like this. It's mechanical. I have to rely on it locking. So if I lock it out like that and I end up coming back, I've closed it. And if I've got my hands in there, I've closed it on myself. Uh, if I'm using a knife for self-defense, I want a fixed blade, something that when I jab, it doesn't have the potential to fold up on me. So that is the biggest complaint I have with a folding self-defense knife. Um, other than that, I mean, this thing seems quality. Um, it's 
called the double lock so it's got the slide lock on it but it's also got a little slide there to actually lock that and so it's locked in place there but mechanics fail all the time so again in a fight if I'm in a fight and I need this fast I have to take it out flick it open which I can't flick it open and lock that is a lot versus say that wraith knife right here if I'm in a fight all I do is reach behind me and I've got a knife right that, that's so uh, that's that's why I go back and forth um, it's not a bad knife $120 for the value of that knife it's solidly constructed so I'm not mad about it but I just I don't know how I feel about it um, that's something else that's probably gonna end up on the trade form for me um, so yeah guys other than you know keep on here for American Buffalo I think that's a keep on no that's not a keep on that is just a advertisement okay um, same advertisement for Sabre uh, I recommend Sabre Red definitely recommend Sabre good stuff um, that is this month's battle box overall mixed I like some things I don't like some things um, I don't know guys you be the judge I'm I'm happy with the things I got that I wanted uh, but you know three or four things are, are just gonna I'm, I'm gonna be getting rid of because I don't think they're very useful um, self-defense box is hard to do so kudos to battle box for trying it um, but it just it, 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 it wasn't knocked out of the park for me guys so uh, real quick again still got my giveaway going on I'm at like 43 44 subscribers trying to get to 50 subscribers If 50 subscribers I'm giving away the Kershaw shuffle right uh, also uh, I've got my Facebook page up and running facebook.com backslash moose underscore survival uh, you'll find me on Facebook and doing tips of the day all my all my YouTube videos are getting loaded up there as well uh, and I hope to you know start doing more stuff there um, anyway yeah guys that's gonna be it for this one give me a like subscribe leave a comment for me share the video with your friends hope you enjoyed it as always stay safe out <laughs>